Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your monthly tarot card forecast for July 2017. As always with the monthlies, I'm going to pull five cards. The first four are for the four weeks of the month, and then the fifth card is an overview of the month. Okay, let's get going here. All right. So the first card we have for week one of July is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Uh, this card is telling us to pay attention to detail. If you try to rush through something this month, it could it could end up costing you more, like on the back end. Like if you try to, what's coming to me is like house repairs. Like if you try to um, just kind of like, fix something real quick or take the cheap way out and doesn't actually fix the problem and then you need to go back and backtrack because you're still having that same issue so you need to like you know you're trying to just patch something and now you have to buy a whole new one or something like that um so just pay attention to details to you know all the little things that that could be affecting the bigger picture um, and then you won't need to retrace your steps because no one wants to do things twice, right? The second week of July, we have the Five of Swords upright. Be careful of right fighting this week. That's kind of how this is coming to me. Um, it's It's pointless and it serves only to hurt other people and Frankly, who cares if you're right? Like, I'm looking at this guy, and let me get you a little bit closer. His face, he's so smug, like, or if you can, and if you can't see it very well, Google the Rider Waite, Radiant Rider Waite deck. Um, he's got this, like, little, like, hmm <laughs> kind of look on him, like, so smug and, like, self-satisfied, you know, like, he... <laughs> like what I'm thinking is like he's just fed his ego like that's what I want to be saying like huh I've got everything and you've got nothing and it's a zero-sum game and I like winning man like that so um be careful of just like right fighting for the sake of of doing it like who cares who cares if you're right so what like don't make other people feel shitty or you know like try and get one up on them just to make yourself feel better because you shouldn't feel better when you make other people feel bad. Week three, we have the six of cups upright. And this is like feeling like you need to give back or make amends. It's, I know that's not usually how this card reads, um, but this is how it's reading this month. So um, something like volunteering your time or community service, like you're going to have a pull, like you're going to want to be giving back, um, mostly like this girl in the red hat, giving the, the flowers and, you know, you can interpret them however you want. Maybe she's giving, maybe she's receiving, but the energy it's reading to me today is like giving, like just, I have all of these cups. So here is a cup for you. Like giving of yourself to help others, giving of your time, volunteering, community service work, like you're going to be pulled to want to help others. It could be something like volunteering or community service where you don't know the other people, or it could be something close to home, like helping a friend move or helping a friend do something, you know, helping someone you know out, someone who's closer to you. But you're going to find, like, this third week of July, you're really going to feel like you need to, like, give back or, like, maybe even make up for something. And if you did do this thing during the second week, that could be why you feel like you need to kind of make up for it. Because if you were, um, if you were kind of being, I have some colorful language coming to me right now. So I'm trying to find a way to not just say what I'm thinking. Um, if you were being this guy and you were kind of snarky and feeding your ego and doing the whole right fighting thing and um, making yourself feel better by putting other people down, and you realize that that's what you did, then you could very well want to just kind of like make up for it. Like, here, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I did that. Um, so these cards together kind of make a lot of sense. Um, but you want to, of course, try not to do that in the first week, like the first place, the second week. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> week four, we have the Five of Cups reversed. And this is um, reading to me today. They're kind of not like energetically they're they're not reading with how they're supposed to be so i'm just going with it um this is kind of coming with like dealing with a loss or growing like you've gone through something you've gone through some sort of loss and now that you've experienced that like you've learned the lesson and you're now like growing from it like okay well i know that i need to change that or i need to do this differently or do this better better it's a matter of introspecting um if you look at it his head's like down you know he's looking inward so he's doing some like introspection work like okay this thing happened and even like analytical like this thing happened why did it happen um what did i do that contributed to or caused it what lesson do i need to learn from it how do i move forward now and all of those things help you grow as a person so it's that kind of like you know he's doing the grieving but then he's moving forward he's taking the lessons and he's growing and he's moving forward so you may have you know something happen i can know i keep saying the word loss you may have something that like triggers this this growth and hopefully it's just some sort of like a realization you're just like oh wow okay I, someone pointed out to me that i that i did that i never really realized that i did that but you know yeah that is something i do and do i like that i do that should i continue to do that do i need to learn something from this or it could be like something like a loss um Okay, let me know how these, because it's so broad, you know, it's for the whole month and it's for a lot of people. Um, so tell me how this turns out for you. And of course, always tune in for the weeklies and they will help explain a little more neatly <laughs> what's going on. Okay, so the overview card for the month is strength. And that's just telling you that you're strong enough to handle, because there's some heavy stuff going on. There's some lessons going on this month with the right fighting and kind of making up for it. And then the growth, um, you know, make sure you do things right the first time so you don't have to go back and do them again. So there's a lot of um, paying attention to yourself, how you handle things, and then how you treat others um, going on this month. And so this card is saying like, hey, you're strong enough to get through these lessons. Um, Try and take a gentler approach, like with yourself, yes, also with others, but try to be gentle on yourself, um, stay balanced, and you'll be able to get through it. The, the universe isn't going to give you anything that you can't get through. So um, as you're going through these, you might realize that you did this, and don't beat yourself up for it, just like, okay, well, you know, I acknowledge that I did that and I don't like that about myself and I'm going to make up for it and then I'm going to grow. I'm going to like, okay, I'm not going to do that next time. Next time I'm presented with that situation, I'm going to um, do something differently instead of, you know, being gentle with yourself, instead of beating yourself up for it and saying, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe, you know, like I, I acted that way and uh, I'm so angry at myself for acting that Like, it's all right. Like, you did what you did and it's okay and it's good that you acknowledge it and that you've grown and it's all right. It's all part of the process. So just be gentle with yourself and kind of stay balanced and know that you're strong enough to get through these lessons. So that's what we've got going on this month. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a tarot card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Also, as I said, the weeklies are going to help clarify what's going on down here, um, all these cards as we go through individually. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.